Hello my friends, we are back with level 11, Peer Pressure. This one was so ridiculous in terms of this dang family meal. So you need 40 orders to be fulfilled, but you have a power usage here, less than 2800 watts, which with that big burger and all the components of the meal ended up being quite a lot. So to show you what's in the small family meal, it's two pieces of fried chicken, one fry and one side salad. So thankfully, if we load this here, you'll see what a mess I had to make. But uh, we ended up using the side salad like regularly. <laughs> and you'll notice that a lot of things are not on the uh, order readers because of that power requirement, which was awful to time, but we did do it. Based on my layout, I honed in this. I honed in this. 26 seconds because of the limitations of this, so I doubled that. So because I was going to be putting together every 13 seconds the components for a fried chicken into this fryer, and it was two, it's, like I said, two fried chicken per fry, instead what I did as a limiting factor is put this on power saving, but, um, where is it? This, this guy on power saving, that one once for every two that this is active. Now there was another thing that I explored here where I tried having it assemble twice each time and control it on power saving, so you can see here on the assembler, perform action two times on new order. That actually worked to kind of bring down the power so the assembler wasn't constantly going. But I think, in fact, after watching the replay, you might see that it is constantly on, so it doesn't really matter. But this was to save time, or not time, but to save energy in the beginning. Then the other thing I did here for this order reader was to grab a side salad when there was one in the bin. So when the side salads come out, which I'll show you the timing for that, was 13 seconds. This will grab that and put that in there, and this will grab that, this will grab that, and so on. So this is the assembler for the small family meal. This one is a combined one for fries and fried chicken. I had had them on separate lines and the power consumption was just way too much. And this was a case of just sh shaving off like five, 10 uh, watt hours towards the end. And then you'll see here with the beach burger, because they, those are constantly coming in, I kept that on five. I just went for it, right? So the burgers are just constantly going. Those take a while and they're ordered enough with enough frequency to make sense to just put that on there. So let's go ahead and start this after describing that mess. But yeah, this was a messy one. It probably took me a good hour and a half, ordering on two hours. So you see here, we're trying to save as much energy as possible until things need to start. And that's what came in handy at the end. That made the difference. Now there was a lot of troubleshooting with this one, especially dialing in those timings. But eventually we got there. I don't believe there was any way uh, well, in my experience, the other solutions that I looked up and stuff, there, there wasn't any way to avoid losing orders, which feels kind of silly. You're basically only really doing well for this specific period of time. Afterwards, it's just going to fall to bits, so the objectives just don't seem like they like they really make a lot of sense in, in context of like efficiency and the other things that this robot, I would hope, would appreciate. But... I guess they just want to worry about here and now, and that is it. These 40 dishes. That's all that matters. This is the objective, and I guess context does not matter. Before or after, it does not matter. So I think towards the end here, I will lose at least one. One of those small family meals, but I'm not sure. The nice thing is when you get those... There we go. We did lose one at the end. 
But those side salads are the saving grace of this whole thing. As long as you can get one or two stacked up for whenever a side salad order comes in, you can just zip it on by and that'll help boost your number and get you closer to 40 faster. So yeah, just a hundred under in terms of the 2800 that we had to stay under. But this one was just unnecessarily mean about it. I think if they had done 3000, it still could have been very challenging. But who's to say? Anyway, hopefully this helped you. Please throw a like and subscribe if it did, and I'll see you next time.